he has given us victory. No matter how the wind blows, can never pull a stone. Surely I know he has given us victory. The seal of righteousness. First lesson, first John three seven. Little children, let no man deceive you. He that doeth righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. Second lesson, John eight forty seven. He that is of God heareth God's words. Ye therefore hear them not, because ye are not of God. Golden text, first John two twenty nine. If ye know that he is righteous, ye know that everyone that doeth righteousness is born of him. The Truth Revealed This is a brief exposition of the truth in this kingdom. This truth shall help you, the entire world, and I, provided we hearken unto it. The children of the flesh are born like those of the Spirit. The children of God are those born of God, while the children of the flesh are those born of Satan, the devil, serpent. That is the reason for saying that this gospel shall help you. Brethren, charms, mermaids, and ghosts are bad. For when you go to a native doctor or sorcerer to prepare charms for you to help you conceive a child, the child begotten in this manner is of the serpent and satanic. Everything that comes from charms, ghosts, mermaids, and witches are of the flesh. But many here are children of the flesh. That is the reason why they do not hear the word of God. Moreover, they are not capable of practicing the words of God. Neither are they ready to seek for God. This explains why after our Lord Jesus Christ had washed their feet, he said to them, You are all clean, but not all, because Judas Iscariot was a child of Satan. Human character is predestined. Nobody teaches another to steal, tell lies, or commit evil. The fact is that if you are a child of Satan, your work is defined and you cannot do any good thing. On the other hand, if you are a child of God, you cannot commit evil. This is the reason why you are advised to marry a woman who is of God when the need arises. In the same vein, if you are a woman and wants to marry, let the person be a man of God. Whenever you want to take up this contract, investigate carefully the family which the person comes from. If the family is such that does not know God, you should not venture into marrying from there so that you don't put yourself into trouble. Similarly, if you as a woman should marry from such a family, your fruits will be of Satan. There is no two ways about it. If you marry a child of God, you would equally give birth to children of God. Marriage, Partners, and Godliness That is why Abraham married Sarah, his cousin, which means they were of the same family. They were brethren. And when Abraham was about to die, he ordered that Isaac, his son, be married to a woman from his family. In the same vein, when Isaac's son Jacob was about to marry, his mother, Rebekah, asked him to go to their hometown and marry from their family. This is because children of God who would render services unto God have no business with evil. This is why the Israelites did not marry from another place. They did not have business with the people of the world, evildoers and idol worshippers. Now the world is totally spoiled, hence the unwanted behavior of people. First Lesson, 1 John 3, 7 Little children, let no man deceive you. He that doeth righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. Characteristics of a child of God This should be your watchword. Whosoever practices righteousness is a real child of God. The children of God do not commit sins even in the face of great danger. They do not know what is called evil. They do not prepare charms, tell lies, fornicate, or hate any person. Hence Satan has no chance at all as far as they are concerned. And whoever is of this attitude is a child of God. Even right from conception, no matter of medication was administered unto him till his birth. Even when there was any form of diabolical substance in his family, his birth would neutralize its power. The children of Lucifer are the most beautiful of all physically seen. They are the embodiment of worldly wisdom, but pillars of deceit. This renders their beauty worthless and despicable, like the beauty of a dog which feeds on human waste and excreta. 
They are responsible for the corrupt nature of the world. They are the children of the serpent until eternity. They will never do any good thing. They are enemies of God. Recall when Solomon married that mermaid, everything turned upside down. God had instructed him not to marry that woman, but being infatuated, he defied God's instructions and married her. The woman urged him to build a house for her own mermaid since he had built one for the worship of his God. He did so and finally joined her in worshiping the mermaid. As a result of that, Babylon collapsed till date. This was the handiwork of the devil. The satanic are born, not made. They have the spirit of theft, falsehood, fornication, and evil. Hence, they display the same characteristics when they manifest physically. They are filled with curses and woes. The satanic are ever sinful. Whoever comes from the generation of vipers cannot say good. Neither is he truthful, nor can he do any good thing unto any person. He is not ready to do so at all. He neither hears the word of God nor practices it. Even if you give him a lot of money that he may practice the word, he would never do so. The children of God hear the word and hearken to it. They also have the fear of God. Moreover, they worship God and are submissive unto him in all ways. When you see such a child, watch carefully for such would be without blemish from birth. He hears and practices the word and is devoid of lies. He speaks the truth and does not touch anything evil. Nobody teaches him how to worship God or how to serve him. But these qualities are inborn. It has been in him from infancy. Such a person does not need medication, does not tell lies, consult native doctors, or have anything to do with evil. He is a real child of God. The children of God are imbued with wisdom. There is no way one can deceive the children of God. It is not a matter of reading the Bible or going to church, but they are naturally mindful of the actions, be they children or adults. When you find someone who is righteous, who tells no lies, does not get angry, still prepare charms or hate, one who possesses love, loves the word of God and practices same, watch him carefully for he is a child of God. Do not seek to know his church denomination. After all, if you go to the churches, you would find that they are filled with thieves as well as the children of Lucifer, the founders of the churches all over the world who never agree with one another. If the children of God were not born, they would not have conquered all. But since the children of God are born, nothing shakes them, deceives them. They are dreaded, have no business with evil and don't listen to the word of the flesh. They believe in God and always preach as well as practice his word. This is why the children of God are overcomers. Peace, the symbol of the chosen. Christ had enjoined that, into whichever house you enter, say, let peace abide in this house. If a child of God is there, the peace shall abide with him. But if a child of God is not there, when departing from the house, shake off the dust from your feet that it may serve as a witness against them. And on the day of judgment, the punishment experienced by Sodom and Gomorrah shall not be as great as the one that shall be experienced by such a house. Today, you have learned a lesson which would guide you in all your endeavors. Whenever you pay somebody a visit in his house, while there, be observant and listen attentively. For whosoever receives the word of God and also accepts it is a child of God. He worships God, accepts, hears, and practices the word of God. But whoever is of this world neither desires nor listens to the word of God. Second lesson, John eight forty seven. He that is of God heareth God's words. Ye therefore hear them not, because ye are not of God. The world and its children. It is common knowledge that when you pay an evangelical call on somebody, he would ask you to go away with your gospel. What does this imply? Does it mean that the world rejects the word of God? Has the government not rejected the word of God? Thus, they take up arms against themselves. 
Even the churches have rejected the word of God. Likewise, all individuals. This is because they are not the children of God. But the children of God love the word of God. They preach the word, reverence God, and from birth until they die, their preoccupation is to worship God. This is because they are of God. The conclusion of every preachment of our Lord Jesus Christ with the words, He who has ears, let him hear, is an indication that the word of God is for the children of God. It is only the children of God that hear the word of God, unlike the children of Lucifer who, even if they sit at the front row with voluminous of Bibles in their hands, do not see, read, and are not interested in the word of God. Even if a child of God is at 26 Mukpa, while the word of God is being delivered here, he stands as the hearer, as well as the practitioner of the said word of God. Marriage and God's Service As Paul was preaching to people that those who are counted worthy by God to inherit the kingdom, neither marry nor give in in marriage, a sister who was about to be wedded overheard the gospel and decided to cancel her wedding. Consequently, she was thrown into prison, but she was undaunted, having resolved within herself never to wed, even if threatened with a death penalty. The situation got to the point that Paul was arrested and charged with wrongful indoctrination and corruption of the minds of people. Finally, he was imprisoned, but he remained unruffled in his resolve to serve God till the last day. The reverse is the case in this kingdom. Even when you are admonished against doing a particular thing, you continue to do it. Anyone who fornicates is not a child of God. The same thing applies to one who tells lies, steals, prepares charms, consults the oracles, or get angry with another person. It is said by their fruits, you shall know them. When you find one who despises the word of God, such as not a child of God, such as ears but does not hear and has eyes yet does not see, his heart is hardened. It is by these attributes that he is identified. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, the children of God hear the word of God, but you do not hear the word of God because you are not of God. Whoever is not a child of God does not hear the word of God nor practice it. If you speak the word of peace to him, it passes by him as the wind. The murderer is cursed. Recall when Jacob was about to return to his hometown, a son of the king of the city in which they lodged fell in love with Jacob's daughter and put her in the family way. When Jacob knew about it, the father to that young man came and pleaded with him, assuring him, Jacob, that his son would marry his daughter and fulfill all necessary rights. People were invited, and Jacob told them that they must be circumcised in accordance with their custom. The man accepted all that he was told because he needed nothing but peace. During this time, Levi and Simon, who were of the same parents with the girl, were present at the occasion, but no one knew that they were not pleased with the discussion. Having concluded everything, the people dispersed. At night, Levi and Simon went in and killed all the inhabitants of that city, including the king. At the break of dawn, corpses were found littered all over the place. This caused Jacob to flee again. That was why he cursed them when he was about to die. If you read Genesis 49, 1 through 6, you would see it. Levi, Simon, and you are brethren. It is as a result of the curse meted to Simon and Levi that swords shall never depart from them that account for the existence of murderers in the world today. The Satanic are unforgiving. This explains why it is said that no matter what you do to please those who are of Satan, they would never forgive. Even if you cook for them and give your wife to them, after eating the food and having fun with your wife, they would still attack and behead you. They are after nothing but blood. Even if you surrender the whole of your house to them so that there may be peace having consumed everything in the house, they would still kill you. But the children of God are different. Even if they are asked to abuse somebody in order to be given one million, they would never condescend. No child of God would be free to tell lies for any material reward, for he is an enemy of sin. That is why it is stated that those who are the children of God 
hear and practice the word of God, but you don't hear the word of God because you are not of God. Golden text, 1 John 2, 29. If ye know that he is righteous, ye know that everyone that doeth righteousness is born of him. Evil deeds, mark of the satanic. A stroke of Cain is sufficient unto the wise. The scripture says, if ye know that he is righteous, ye know that everyone that doeth righteousness is born of him. 1 John 2, 29. These are the children of God. When you find anyone who speaks the truth, who tells no lies, nor gets angry, fornicates, drinks wine, hates, quarrels, or begrudges, ask no further questions because such is a real child of God. Spiritual Chorus My consolation is that the Lord is in possession of the keys. Satan's attempts are futile, for he alone has the keys. My consolation lies in the fact that Satan cannot operate. When you find anyone who tells you or complains that he is unfaithful to his wife because his wife also cheats on him, know that such is a child of Satan. In the same vein, if someone complains that it is joblessness that pushes him into crime, know that he is a child of Satan. Everyone that doeth evil is a child of Satan. A child of God cannot lay hands on anything which is not his, no matter the situation. Even if he does not have a dollar at home, or you happen to pick it on the road and take it to him, he would never accept it. Moreover, he does not prepare charms or tell lies. Even if he is given the whole of this community so that he may tell lies, or a fat sum of money is presented to him so that he may join in the preparation of charm, he would never accept it. Hypocrisy inhibits godliness. Many of you have the willingness to remain with the Father, but lust for material things is your hindrance. It is said that when you find anyone who does righteousness, tells no lies, commits no sin, does not steal, fornicate, say no evil, hate, get angry, etc., you should know immediately that he is a child of God. What about when you don't find such a person? This is because many of them who are made chairman here and there are hypocrites, and I know them all. They are always seen with the Holy Bible, but they do nothing good. They may be excellent visioners and may even be able to cause ghosts to dance, but after this, they exhibit unwholesome attributes. I know every one of them here, but what I need is a child of God. This is somebody who commits no evil, but where is the person? If there is any, let him come out here. That is what I have for you. This thing does not hang on being present here always, in the morning, afternoon, and night, because even Satan does sleep here, and his children take the semblance of the angels of God. He even makes his children to appear as the children of God, but at the end, they are bound to manifest themselves as evil doers. Fate of the satanic. The children of God are bound to have eternal life and peace. That is why Christ says, every plant which my heavenly father hath not planted shall be rooted up. Matthew fifteen thirteen. All the children of Satan shall be wiped off. Even the smallest shall not be spared. I shall in future impart more of these words to you. For I want you to have them written in your hearts, for the time of judgment is nigh. If you find anyone without any manner of sin, who drinks no wine, nor fornicates, even when tempted with a house filled with money, one who does not bear false witness and does not seek money through diabolical means, you should know that he is a child of God. Spiritual Chorus I love to answer that name a man of God. Godliness is not by designation. Brethren, one who is called a chairman, president, prophet, and child of God is not a man of God, but anyone who practices righteousness is a man of God, and such is the fellow we are looking for. Brethren, it is said a stroke of Cain is sufficient unto the wise. He who has ears, let him hear. May God bless his holy words.
Amen. Thank you, Father. Brotherhood of the Cross and Star, delivered by leader and teacher Alumba Alumba Abu. Compiled by George Morales. Voiceover by Shantaria. He has given us victory. No matter how the wind blows, can never pull a stone. Surely I know. He has given us victory. He has given us victory over lamentation. Oh yes, I know. He has given us victory. He has given us victory over principalities. Oh yes, I know. He has given us victory. Through the thunder, we strive. The wind may blow. Surely I know. He has given us victory. Surely they will scatter, oh yes I know He has given us victory In our houses He has given us victory In our offices He has given us victory In academy He has given us victory In our endeavors He has given us victory In our going out He has given us victory In our coming in He has given us victory Everlasting victory, victory Everlasting victory He has given us victory Glory be to God in the highest heaven. Victory is mine. He has given us victory. Even when I left the field, my enemies will laugh and say I'm not gonna succeed. Oh, he has given us victory. To the former the brainer, former every evil when they come my way. He has given us victory. Oh, it's the victory now. Oh yes, I know victory is mine. It's the victory now. Oh yes. We have been reading from the bondage, surely we are salvaged, oh yes I know He has given us victory, light is now a leader, darkness is the feeder, truly I know He has given us victory, destruction has been conquered, nothing can hinder, oh yes I know He has given us victory <laughs> He has given us victory. Chant hallelujah, praise the Lord God, for we know. He has given us victory. Everlasting victory, His name in all of us. He has given us victory. Victory song. Victory song. He has given us victory. Now I can climb all the mountains, forge all my dreams, cause He has given us victory. Now I can stand firm and count, see, count all the rainbow scars. He has given us victory. And that's for all my enemies, the Father has given them. You look at the red He has given us victory. Victory is Oh yes, I know victory is ours. Victory is Oh yes, I know victory is He has given us a path to triple up a serpent and never be. He has given us victory In the day and night I put my trust in him For surely I know He has given us victory whoa, 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 whoa. Freedom everywhere He has given us victory Melody makers Come out right now Let's chant for joy He has given us victory Songs of victory Songs of jubilation That is what I want to hear He has given us victory He has given us victory over the evil one He has given us victory Freedom song Freedom oh, song Oh yes, I know victory is ours Freedom song